Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be talking about my millionaire real estate investing strategy. Now guys, I've been investing in real estate since 1995. But over that period of time, I've had some ups and I've had some downs. But I'm here to tell you, using these five strategies that I'm gonna get ready to talk with you about, it has helped me put together a million dollar plus net worth all through real estate investing. Now let's jump into these five strategies. My first millionaire real estate investment strategy is to borrow money cheap. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is right now, it is a awesome time to be able to go out and buy real estate and get long-term financing on the cheap. What do I mean by on the cheap? Guys, you can go out now in this environment with when rates are low and the real estate market is good, you can go out and find 30 year fixed financing in that 3% to 4% range. Guys, that's unheard of. Those are really, really close to historic lows. So that means, wow, your cash flow is gonna be tremendously impacted by a longer term and a very low interest rate. That's one of my millionaire real estate investment strategies because you can go out and you can find really, really cheap financing. My second real estate investing strategy is leverage my money. And let me tell you what I mean by that. If I had $100,000 and I wanted to invest it in real estate, now I got two options. I can take that $100,000 and buy one property and I'd be investing in real estate. Or I could leverage that $100,000 and buy three properties. That's one of the strategies, guys, that I've utilized over my 25 years of real estate investing, taking a lump sum of money and instead of buying one property, I divide that lump sum up and I buy three or four properties. So that strategy helped me elevate my net worth because I invested in more properties. Therefore, I had an opportunity over the long haul to make more money. So if you're out there thinking about investing in real estate and you got $50,000, consider this. Instead of taking that $50,000 and buying one property, why not take that $50,000 and perhaps buy two properties? You're gonna have twice the cash flow, and guess what? When it's time for you to sell that property and exit, you're gonna have twice the appreciation. So that's one of the strategies, guys, that has allowed me to become a millionaire through real estate. My third millionaire real estate investment strategy is great cash flow. Now let me walk you through that. As I built my real estate portfolio over the last 25 years, cash flow, although not the most important thing to me, it was extremely important while I was holding the property. There are two ways I believe you make money in real estate. The first way is it's through cash flow. You basically buy a piece of property, you put a tenant in that property, that tenant pays you rent, you take those rents, and then you have to minus out your expenses, and what's left over is cash flow. So that can be, you can, you can figure out your cash flow either on a monthly basis or an annual basis. I typically figure mine out on a monthly basis. So great cash flow for me would be having positive cash flow on a month by month basis coming out of that property. What I don't want to have happen is, is have negative cash flow where my expenses exceed my rental income. So the great cash flow part for me has allowed me to really build a pretty strong real estate investment portfolio. And it also has allowed me to be able to save money and put money in a reserve so that when something goes wrong with one of those properties, instead of me having to pull cash out of my pocket, then all I have to really do is, is go to the reserves for that particular real estate property and pay for any capital improvements that I need to pay for for the property. So great cash flow, guys, is extremely important. Always look for properties with great cash flow. Now, the quick 
thing you can do if you're out looking at properties and you, you really don't have the time to do a whole deep dive into cash flow, you can use what they call the 1% rule. Take 1% of whatever your purchase amount or your loan amount, you take 1% of that figure and that should tell you the type of rental income on a monthly basis you should get off of that property. And then when you go look for a bank loan, you wanna make sure your loan is structured so that you do not have a monthly mortgage payment that exceeds that 1%. So great cash flow guys can make or break a property. So take that seriously, do your homework. I've also made a couple of videos on the YouTube channel around cash flow and cash on cash return. So check those out. My fourth millionaire real estate investing strategy is getting tax advantages for buying real estate. Now guys, I'm not a tax advisor. So I'm not giving you any advice on how your taxes would be if you bought real estate. What I'm trying to tell you here is, is there are certain advantages from a tax standpoint from buying real estate. There are certain things that you can deduct uh, from the income of that property on, a, on an annual basis on, on the tax return. I would ask you to sit down with a CPA and, and walk through your strategy or the strategy that you wanna come up with for your real estate portfolio and help them guide you through the right tax strategy for you. For me, the tax advantages of owning real estate is awesome. And I've utilized those tax advantages through proper professional guidance to, to benefit me on my 25 years of owning uh, residential real estate. My fifth millionaire real estate investing strategy is appreciation. That's right guys, property appreciation. So remember I talked about cash flow and how important cash flow was, but it wasn't my number one thing when I buy real estate because appreciation is. Now let me walk you through what I mean by real estate appreciation. Let's go back to that $100,000 that I talked about earlier in the video. And instead of me buying one property, I bought three properties. I got three times the chances of getting three times the appreciation over just buying one property. The key to appreciation for me is buying properties that can stand the test of time. What do I mean by that? I buy residential real estate properties in growing communities, fast growth communities. Because if I buy in good times or bad times, as long as it's in a growth community, now that growth may slow down occasionally, but it, it's, a, it's still a desirable area for people to live in. I don't necessarily always look for the lowest, cheapest deal. If this community that I'm thinking about buying a piece of real estate in is appreciating 10, 15, 20% a year, year over year, I'll pay market for that piece of property because I know in three years with compounding appreciation, I should realize about a 50 to 60% appreciation in that property. Now guys, I know those numbers sound high, but keep in mind, I've been doing this for over 25 years and I can tell you at times I've gotten that kind of return from an appreciation standpoint on my residential real estate properties. And I believe the reason I got it was I bought in the right area, in the right community, fast growing communities. One way to figure that out is, is go to your county's appraiser's office or tax collector's office and look at the 10 year plan for your county. Um, it's public information guys, go look at it. It'll tell you where the growth is gonna be happening in your county. Those, th those are the type of things that millionaire real estate investment strategies want, it will teach you is to use resources that everybody else won't use. I'll go down to my county and I'll look at the 10 year or the five year plan for my county. And what that does is it tells me where the growth is gonna be happening. And then guess what I do with that information? I can strategically go out and find a property that I know is gonna appreciate in value pretty well. Those are the five millionaire real estate investment strategies. Guys, I wanna tell you, my net worth would not be a million dollars plus without real estate investing. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. Keep chasing your greatness and give me a thumbs up if the video was helpful. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing and share the video. 
Peace. If you want two free stocks, click on that link in the description box of the video and Weeble is gonna give you two free stocks when you open a new Weeble brokerage account, deposit $5 in that brokerage account, they're gonna give you two free stocks valued up to $2,300. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you. Thank you.